everybody, it's Jennifer. I'm here to talk about some of my favorite spooky children's books. Um, this one, The Witches by Royal Dahl, was one of my favorites growing up. Um, I read my copy until it fell apart. It is creepy. It is about a boy who lives with his grandmother who is always telling him to be careful of the witches and he's just like, psh, whatever. And then he meets the Grand High Witch and things go terribly wrong for him. Very fun. Um, Golden in Grey is a unremarkable boy and a rather remarkable ghost. Um, neither Tom nor Grey actually ever fit in very well. Um, and Grey decides that he's going to become Tom's best friend. But of course Tom can't see him because Grey is ghost. But then something happens and Tom is able to see and communicate with ghosts. He's just like, whoa, what happened to my life and why is this going on? So everything changes and what do they do next? Dying to Meet You is one of my favorite series. Um, the series is called 43 Old Cemetery Road and there is an author, a best-selling novelist, kind of like an R.L. Stein author, who moves into the house but he doesn't realize that the Owners left their son, there's the son, and his cat, and there's also a ghost haunting the house. And what he doesn't realize is that they don't want to share the house with him. So that gets a little bit spooky. Um, this one isn't as spooky. It's called If the Magic Fits. It's a trilogy of 100 dresses. Um, there's an enchanted castle, and in this castle there is a closet filled with 100 dresses. And when you put on the dresses, they change you into a different person inside the castle. Um, there's some sleeping dragons. There's a traitor in the castle. Um, there's a lot of fun in this book. And one of the um, serving girls to the princess has to figure out what's going on. Um, case closed. This is Mystery in the Mansion. It says, pick your path and crack the case. This is one of those choose your own adventure stories. Um, there is three books in this series, but it's really fun. So you read a whole bunch and then you have to choose between two different paths. The Curse of the Boggin, the library book. So Marcus finds a key that unlocks the library and he's using the library to find answers, which of course is what good libraries are there for. Um, but he's trying to find answers to a bunch of mysterious circumstances that have been happening around him. And what he discovers is really creepy and um, not great. You wouldn't want that happening to you. Um, Artemis Fowl is one of my favorites. It is a book about a 12 year old criminal mastermind. And he decides that he is going to kidnap a fairy. And he is going to ransom that fairy for a boatload of money. Um, and he figures all out how it's all going to happen, but it doesn't actually work out to plan. Um, this one isn't as creepy, but just a lot of fun, and there's a lot of magical elements to that one. And this one, my last one, is Wait Till Helen Comes. This is one of my childhood favorites as well. This used to give me ugh, so many creepy chills. It's about um, a blended family, so Molly, and her brother uh, have a new younger stepsister, Heather, and Heather is kind of a brat. She's a real brat. Uh, and she meets this ghost called Helen, and she's always threatening Molly and her brother. Wait till Helen comes. Helen's gonna get you. Helen's gonna do all these things to you. And then Helen does, and it is real creepy and real good. So, I hope that you... Like some of those, we have a lot of other spooky stories here at the library.